Scrap.tf is the biggest trading site in all of TF2 history. But did you know that in 2016, there was a super strange scam on the website that was hopefully entirely unintentional? This story stars in 2015 during the Smithmas event where Valve added a brand new item called the Festivizer. Now, this item allows you to make a festivized version of the weapon you selected. And that trend then continued into the next year where a few more festivized weapons were allowed to be crafted. And that year, my friends, is when I noticed something on the Scrap.tf website. Scrap.tf, for the most part, is a pretty decent place to do a bunch of trading on. You can buy and sell a bunch of items, but prices may be better on other websites. And the value that they place on unusuals is usually pretty terrible. There is, however, one very useful feature to Scrap.tf, the Auto Scrap Weapons feature. This basically sends you a trade and every duplicate weapon you have, they will take off you and pay you half a scrap for, meaning you can very easily sort out your very messy inventory. But the problem in 2016 was that a bunch of new weapons had just come into the game and the festivized qualities seemed to be a lot different from the other qualities in the game, such as vintage, genuine, unusual, and collectors. Festivized weapons were still counted as unique weapons and they weren't really separated from those unique weapons the same way actual festive variants of the weapons are. Festivized items have always been weird when it comes to sorting them or finding prices for them or other websites figuring out how to deal with them. Now I have realized that this could get confusing quite quickly so to clear things up, Festive weapons are the quality of weapons that you open from the naughty winter crates from 2011 to 2014. These items are festive items and you can only get them from these crates. Festivized items on the other hand are the ones you get from using the festivizer item on a normal weapon, making that unique item a festivized version of that weapon. They are not the same and the festive items tend to cost a lot more. So like I mentioned, festivized items are just weird. And basically what that meant is that whenever you try to auto scrap items using the scrap.tf system, if you had duplicate versions of those festivized weapons, they would just be read by the website as a normal unique weapon. And the scrap.tf would try and pay you half of a scrap for that. If you're doing like a big trade and you're getting rid of hundreds of weapons, you might not notice the small Christmas lights on like the Sandman or something like that. So yeah, if you're not trading too many items at once, it will be fine and you will probably notice it. But if you're trading hundreds and hundreds of weapons, you're not really going to notice. And the half a scrap that they give you per weapon is actually equivalent to less than a penny. And I'm fairly sure that some festivized items that have been traded over to Scrap.tf are worth at least a little bit more than that. I'm not sure if Scrap.tf knew that this was happening or if they then sorted these festivized items somewhere else and sold them for profit or if they just kind of stayed in the weapons inventory and people could come along and pick up a festivized item for another random weapon in their inventory. That kind of stuff, I do not know. I personally think this is just a very simple error in the website's code and how the code of the website interacts with festivized items in TF2. I don't think the owners or like the developers of Scrap.tf saw festivizers come into the game and think that this is a cool way to make a bit of money and deceive people. I think it was a genuine mistake. However, there are a fair few people who have lost out on their festivized items. One, because they weren't careful and two, because this is a very strange glitch for a website to even have. And then if Scrap didn't even notice it and sold these items for, you know, half of a Scrap anyway, then nobody's really benefited people have only kind of lost <laughs> anyway that is going to do it for the video i hope you all enjoyed it if you did please make sure you leave it a like also subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you all next time goodbye